Do you think my videos are boring? Do you often fall asleep? Do you want to know what's in this box? Then just stay tuned and watch what's in this box. So here's my trusty Hyperthermia 85 I've had for like five or six years now. And this is a uh, replacement torch. You see there's no red button to press to undo this. There's a little Phillips screw in it. 25 footer. Looks just like the real deal. Um, made in Italy. You look at the consumables, they look a little bit different when you look at them, but they are fully interchangeable with the original Hypertherm consumables. The only thing that is actually different is the electrode. When Hypertherm did the Duramax torches, they put the electrode, they put the spring on the electrode instead of in the torch head. And this thing has the spring back in the torch head. As you can see here, Swirl ring um, interchangeable, tips interchangeable, the cup interchangeable, and the torch head looks just like the previous generation. And um, if you're in a pinch, you can actually take the hypothermal electrode and take the spring off and put it in there. Everything is interchangeable and fits right on there. So those consumables work really well and um, are about half the cost. So I'm testing this out here having my buddy Russell cut this excavator bucket that's some one inch thick material and uh, we have to cut it and spread the pins apart a little bit so we have to cut the ears off, weld the piece in between and get everything set and ready to go So right here, all this cutting is pretty boring, but it all happens in life, time, there's no delay. So on that bucket, we cut about 20 minutes here. Actually, Russell cut 20 minutes. I just hold the camera and uh, gave smart comments. But anyhow, um, on one set of consumables, through that one inch, not a problem at all. And uh, seems to hold up really good. And since then, I tested it probably for an additional 10 months, I want to say. I, I'm not the guy who who tests it like for like three minutes and says okay it's good it can go on YouTube I like it I'm gonna put my name on it you know I mean I'm I'm not putting my name on it my name is not on the torch but I can tell you whatever I have received so far whatever I worked with worked really good um, if you want to see where you can get a um, inexpensive but absolutely matching hypertherm OE quality a torch then uh, check out the links in the description 
and um, you can get consumables for your torch, everything but the electrode because Hypertherm has a patent on the electrode on the spring on the electrode. And if you need a CNC torch for your table or if you need a hand torch replacement because you drove the forklift over it or whatever, it works really, really well. Okay, now fast forward a little bit. So let's look at this up close here. Yeah, there's some slag, whatever. Uh, the air was not 100% dry either. It's summer, it's humid, a little bit out there. But look at that. Look at those consumables. I mean, they just look sharp. For already like 12 minutes of full abuse and not perfectly dry air on there. I mean, remarkably clean. And you see how those little tiny holes around the, around the crown on that drag cup are clean. So now here Russell is trimming this a little bit and chamfering it so when we have to weld it, we have already a place for our weld to go into. guess what was in the box so here it is let's see what's in the box and there she is